and welcome to Brandy's Poetry Corner, reading from the Zoo of the New. Um, I just read a poem about angels. This book is arranged, as I said before, in actually alphabetical order of titles, so there is no like theme going through this other than really good poems. Um, and yet this one, which is the next one I'm going to read, is called Report from Paradise. And... This is where I, I do my best to pronounce people's name. It is by Zvigniew Herbert, translate by Schleslov Milos and Peter Dale Scott. Peter Dale Scott is the only one I've got any confidence on. And it's called Report from Paradise by Zvig Report from Paradise by Zbigniew Herbert. In Paradise, the work week is fixed at 30 hours. Salaries are higher, prices steadily go down. Manual labour is not tiring because of reduced gravity. Chopping wood is no harder than typing. The social system is stable and the rulers are wise. Really in paradise, one is better off than in whatever country. At first, it was to have been different. Luminous circles, choirs and degrees of abstraction but they were not able to separate exactly the soul from the flesh. And so it would come here with a drop of fat, a thread of muscle. It was necessary to face the consequences, to mix a grain of the absolute with a grain of clay. One more departure from doctrine, the last departure, only John foresaw it. You will be resurrected in the flesh. Not many behold God. He is only for those of 100% numa. The rest listen to communiques about miracles and floods. Some day God will be seen by all. When it happens, nobody knows. As it is now every Saturday at noon, sirens sweetly bellow, and from the factories go the heavenly proletarians, awkwardly under their arms, they carry their wings like violins. Thank you. It highlights the difficulties of thinking about what paradise might, might be like. Because we cannot let go of that. Was it the drop of fat and a thread of muscle? For other poems read by me, look me up, Brandy Pearson, on YouTube. Thank you.